So, hello. Uh, talk on short notice. Uh, I will tell a bit about why I did the, uh, in case you didn't know, I'm the new short run maintainer. <laughs> uh, I'll talk about why I did it and what we did so far, or I did, and what the plans are. Spoiler, um, not much. Uh, so, short well. Why? Yeah, um, because I use it. And um, since I switched from F-Spot to Shotwell, and uh, Shotwell was not maintained anymore, and I was fearing that I ha would have to switch to another tool again, and I didn't want to do that. So, primary mission is uh, pure egoism. I don't want to switch tools. Second motivation is it's kind of nice, and people use it. I mean, it's default in Fedora. It's default in Debian. Uh, uh, sorry, in, in Ubuntu. Uh, it has a lot. It has lots of features like online publishing and stuff. So I think we kind of need to preserve it at least until maybe GNOME Photos is ready or something like that. Um, what I've done so far, I fixed a nasty crasher. Yay! I fixed some drawing issues and I changed the build system. So that's not really much, you might say. But if you look at the numbers, it's uh, we currently have 979 open bugs. I already closed 43. Uh, I think roughly a third of those 43 bugs were closed by actually changing the build system because it gave us uh, for free the new Yelp integration, the AppStream integration translation, the desktop translation, the new Intel tool stuff, uh, the, uh, the, uh, not the new Intel, the GetX stuff. Um, there's a whole lot of infrastructure topics that weren't possible with the old build system, but just like one line with a new build system. Admittedly, it's auto tools, but what can you do? Um, also, I was really, uh, I start. I tried to not do it because changing a build system is hard and hurts. But uh, when I first compiled Shotwell, um, first thing I did was compiling in parallel. And I was wondering why the hell does it take more time to compile it in parallel than just singly. So it was like 30 seconds difference. But it was running slower in parallel than in similar. So, and trying to unlayer these weird things at some point just left one conclusion we have to change it we have to do something that is more common i i cannot blame yorba for not choosing auto tools auto tools is awful as we have heard but it's the best awful thing we have currently may i switch to meason maybe that's nice so what's currently more open it's 41 bucks for 024 which will be the next stable um, i decided to follow gnome release schedule so tomorrow, no, not tomorrow. On Monday will be the um, the the freeze release. So no more UI changes. Not that there aren't that many. Um, and we have already, I have already queued twenty four tickets for the next day release. Um, admittedly, not all of those forty one will do it for the next table. Um, Plans. First plan. It has to be faster. Especially raw import is a pain in the ass. It takes, um, if I import like 100 photos from my uh, camera, which are raw with embedded JPEG, it takes ages and up to 400% CPU. That's not good. We shouldn't do that. Um, Sounds like an easy change. It isn't. Shotwell is big, <laughs> really big, and slightly more complex than I had anticipated internally. But well, um, we will be getting there. Next thing is improve user experience. So there are there are corners in Shotwell that are great. It was really designed with with the user in mind, but some corners are. Like weird. <laughs> it's like when it uh, I fixed one ticket where it just said no photos. What it meant was there are no photos matching the current search. But we had bug reports from people that said uh, they were panicking because they thought they had deleted all their photos because it just said no photos. 
that's that's are uh, things that we have to improve. Also, the the um, UI is getting a bit cluttered with all the um, things you can turn on and off, and the filtering and the tree browser and the lots of menu things. But that needs time and and thinking about because just ripping out stuff doesn't do any good. What I want also add is awesome geo tagging support. I will show a demo about what it might come. It's cool. Um, might not come in current stable release because of the tile server issues that you maybe have heard about the, um, the uh, no maps. Um, then we, I will, or we will throw out deprecated stuff. Um, it is showing that Shotwell was written in GTK2 and not carried over with the latest and greatest things, um, which is perfectly fine because I think Yoba aimed to target all the LTS releases at least one back. Then you have to do it like that. Um, I'm not planning to do that. That's why my PPA also currently uh, targets 16.4 Ubuntu, nothing else latest. We will probably keep on targeting 60.4 and then continue with the more recent build-up, but I will not um, go older than 16.4. And uh, one more thing is make it more modular. Currently it's a bit like everything is connected with everything internally. It pretends to be somewhat modular, but you can't really separate it. I tried it when changing the build system. You can't. Um, and the benefit of that will be we have we will have tests, like we will have uh, regression testing on the on the um, image processing, so that whenever we change something in the image processing, we can make sure that we didn't break it. And it's demo time. I hope it compiled. Yes, it did. <laughs> So what you can see there is uh, one of the one of the very nice feature that uh, we are currently planning, or that was contributed a long time ago. And then recently, the guy who, who did the initial patch um, noticed that uh, there's a there's a maintainer again, and he started working on it again, rebasing it against the newer code base and stuff. Uh, what it does is basically it shows you um, all the locations that you have photos in, if your photos have location support. Um, this thing shows you like a couple of things. I'm very bad at geotagging my stuff. <laughs> and, uh, I'm very specific about where to geotag. Um, but you can use it to browse. For example, this is Barcelona. Yeah. The user experience is a bit strange in places. Still, we, we are refining that, but... Why am I in airplane mode? So you can see you have a cluster of images that are roughly in the area of Barcelona. And if you actually zoom in, it should spread. Hopefully, yeah. So you can see the individual photos there are highlighted and the, the browser is switching to them, stuff like that. Um, not only you can use it to to um, browse photos, you can use it to to tag the photos by just dragging them around. See, this should be roughly here. So now you have geotagged your photo. That's something I want to have in, but we have to clarify the the map tile stuff first because um, uh, I feel bad freeloading on OSM, and we probably can't do that because we we don't know the user base of of Shotwell currently. It might be just too much for the fair use thing that they allow. So that's the demo. 
my question is to me. Did I underestimate the task? Yes. Um, I didn't look at the book Tricker. It was over a thousand bucks when I started. That was probably a mistake. Um, I severely underestimated the code base. It's large. It's in places undiscoverable. Um, it goes, we're currently, uh, Daniel is helping me. Uh, we're trying to figure out why the uh, raw import is happening in the main thread. And it's, we don't know. It just happens. <laughs> The, the code paths are going back and forth and in background tasks and then scheduled into foreground again. And so, uh, but finally, it's just work that needs to be done. Uh, yeah, then again, what I said in the introduction, why? Because there's GNOME photos, there's Digicam, there's other stuff. Yeah, I use it. So, <laughs> pet peeve. Um, Am I doing this alone? Currently, yes. There's one guy doing a bit of bug triaging. Um, there's Daniel jumping in. Um, contrib contributors are coming back, actually, now. There's uh, people that were contributing and then kind of gave up, um, reappear, which is really nice. But uh, if you feel inclined to work on a rather large GTK application in Vala, <laughs> join in. <laughs> um, yeah, since that was a spontaneous talk, I'm done. So it's time for your questions. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> for maintaining and for giving the talk. Welcome. Get a new maintainer.